How's it going guys, this is EasyTech231 here with another video. I got a request uh, both on Twitter and on YouTube to do a Hyperdrive RLS11 ROM installation video for the Galaxy S3. And I thought it was kind of strange because RLS12 is already out. Uh, but you know, just decided to uh, uh, give them what they want. <laughs> so uh, here's the ROM. I'm not going to provide the link in the uh, description. Um, but that is the ROM. You can get it on the XDA developers website. It's the Hyperdrive RLS11 Universal ROM for the S3. I have my S3 plugged into my computer. Uh, if you're wondering about the shaky camera work, my tripod broke yesterday, so hopefully I can get a new one and uh, get some better viewing angles and stuff. Anyway, I put the ROM in my SD card. The ROM itself is about, or the zip file itself is about a gig and a half, so it will take some time to download. And make sure you do have a considerable amount of, uh, of storage left on your SD card. You can also choose to put it in your internal storage. Uh, but I, I personally like having it in the SD card. Uh, so when it's when it's on your SD card, you can go ahead and uh, do what I did. Basically, I downloaded ROM Manager, um, Clockwork Mod. Uh, make sure you have Clockwork Mod um, installed on your on your device. Uh, you're gonna need that. Obviously, you're gonna be need to be rooted, um, and you will. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and reboot into recovery. And um, this is actually like the second take because I did have a problem installing the ROM, but hopefully uh, I'll get it done this time. So we're going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. You can unplug your phone from your computer. And uh, let's see what we got. Alright, so we're uh, getting up into the uh, Clockwork Mod recovery. And here we are. And if you guys don't know, to navigate throughout the menu, you need. Uh, to use the uh, volume up and down buttons uh, to go up and down. Not quite sure why the camera's not focused. Oh, it's focusing on the back, sorry. Uh, and then you'll use the power button, the power button. Anyway, you, you guys know what a power button looks like. Uh, you'll need the power button to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to select. So, uh, uh, first thing you want to do, you need to back everything up like all your pictures all your music all your movies all your videos all that kind all that kind of stuff you're going to need to back all of it up everything that you want to keep back it up like on your computer and then back it up on Google Drive or whatever cloud service you use back it up so you don't lose it and uh you know so you'll have it later so basically what you want to do you need to wipe data factory reset let's go ahead and do that and it, it shouldn't take too long because I already did this a couple minutes ago. Alright, so that's done. And then you want to wipe cache partition. You want to select that. It won't take too long. Already done. And go to advanced here at the bottom. And wipe Dalvik cache. You can see it there. There you go. And this will take about one tenth of a second. Bam. Already done. Alright, so you're going to go back. And install zip from SD card um, so if you whoops hold on let me go back real fast so if you put the uh, ROM in your phone's internal memory uh, then you're gonna do choose a zip from SD card if you actually put it on the SD card itself go to choose zip from external SD card so I put it on the SD card and the ROM is all the way at the bottom here there it is so let's go ahead and install that and it shouldn't take too long. It'll take a, a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long. All right, it's done. It didn't take uh, long at all. It took about 10 seconds. All right, so here we are in the Aroma installer. So uh, you can choose what language you'd like. Go ahead and hit next. Uh, select the installer theme. Let's go ahead and do generic unthemed. Hit next. And press next to continue the installation. So let's go ahead and press next. Please wait. All right, so when I press next on the please press next to continue installation, that's where my phone froze up. Uh, so I had to redo everything. So hopefully it doesn't do that for you. That's actually the first time that's ever happened, and I've installed this ROM maybe three or four times, not not including this time. All right, so here, here's the change log. You can look through this if you'd like, um, but if you really want to get to the ROM, just go ahead and hit next. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and do um, run full ROM install. Um, we already wiped everything, so you can go ahead and hit uh, whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. 
because we already wiped everything else, and choose your variation of the Galaxy S3 that you have. Again, uh, if you saw my uh, my review of this ROM, you would know that it does not work with the international version uh, version of the S3, unfortunately. But um, there is a ROM. Hmm, I don't really remember the name of the ROM, but it's it's also really good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So here we go. We have the T-Mobile Galaxy S3 here. And uh, let's go ahead and do, let's see, let's, let's just stick with the one that, that's on top, 4x4, four four. and you can choose the app to install, which is actually pretty cool. Um, let's see, we have all share play, um, the analog clock, all the clocks that it, that it uh, normally has, uh, Flipboard, you can install that if you'd like, S-Memo and S-Note, yeah, you can install S-Note if you want, so let's go ahead and do S-Note. Uh, let's see, you can do the Galaxy S3 camera and the gallery. You can also do pop-up browser from the Note 2, uh, which is pretty cool. You have the, uh, all these other things. You know, you can look through them yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep going. So this is the Galaxy S4 keyboard here and uh, the AccuWeather widget. Let's try, let's try both transparent and stock AccuWeather widget. So let's go ahead and hit next. And then you can also choose... Uh, S Translate. If you saw my, uh, <laughs> again referring back to the other video, if you saw my review, uh, S Translate did not work for me unfortunately, but uh, maybe it will this time. And then you can also choose to do S Voice. Go ahead and hit Next. And uh, you can choose which email application you can use. You can use the stock one, the stock Android uh, version of the email app. And we can choose the launcher. Yeah, you can choose the launcher. You can do um, Sense ROM options, you know, if you'd like. And, um, you know, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's a cool thing to check out uh, later. But if you want Galaxy S4 look and feel, let's continue. You can choose which uh, file fo uh, file manager you want. I like ES File Manager. That one's good. Uh, so let's go next. And you can choose some Nexus 4 options, which is pretty cool. Basically, it's just stock Android options. So you can do the 4.2 calorie. Uh, calorie. <laughs> Gallery, I was going to say camera and then gallery, but I ended up saying calorie. Wow. Um, you, can, you can choose the <laughs> Nexus 4 clock with Photosphere. Uh, the music player, I think that's Apollo. Uh, the calendar, stock calculator. Um, actually, let's keep that one. Uh, and the, um, let's see, you can also do the AOSP launcher, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and hit next. Let's continue. <laughs> gallery. Uh, choose your Google Apps, uh, Google Plus. Yeah, let's install all of this. And not to hack 4.2 YouTube. Uh, and you can choose some Xperia ROM applications stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do. Uh, eh, let's just leave that and hit next. We're we're, we're nearing the end, people. Don't don't worry. Um, let's see. So you can do music players here. Let's go ahead and do uh, the stock Samsung music player. I like that one actually. Next. And let's go ahead and do swipe keyboard. Next. Good grief. Uh, you can also do uh, ad blocking if you'd like, which is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do the 50% louder volume hack. Uh, I've actually never tried the 100% louder volume hack. I've heard it's pretty cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and stick with 50. Uh, music audio quality enhancer. Um, nah. Let's just let's just stick with them. You can you can choose whichever one you'd like. Really, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip that. Uh, additional apps, man, they really went out went all out on this one. ROM Toolbox, Adobe Flash Player, which you'd probably want to get, um, and Polaris Office Viewer, you'd probably want to get that too. All right, so let's continue. Almost done. <laughs> you can in, you can choose to do the uh, Facebook Home Launcher. No way. Uh, didn't. Yeah, the HTC first actually went down to like ninety nine dollar or ninety nine cents, which is pretty sad. So let's go ahead and do, yeah, let, let's go ahead and do um, classic hyperdrive, and we can do ROM themes. Yeah, so we can get the stock ROM theme. We can get uh, Sony Xperia Z theme, HTC uh, Sense Five theme, and in this case, we want the S four theme. Next, and finally. We are pretty much done. So it's ready to begin the installation. I forgot how long this takes, uh, but we'll see. Go ahead, next, and we are ready. It's already at 10%. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. 
uh, but I will in fact pause the video and come back when uh, it's finished so see you guys when it's done alrighty it didn't take too long uh, it took about maybe two to three minutes uh, so let's go ahead and hit next as we always do and we will yeah here we go we got a little message it says hyperdrive ROM has been successfully installed press finish to reboot so let's go ahead and reboot <clears throat> Hey you guys. So this is what you'll get. You'll also get a pretty cool boot animation after this, which is pretty interesting. Um, I've seen better though. <laughs> Let's just wait. Alright. Watch, this is probably going to be the part where it's going to take forever, and then uh, I didn't pause the video. So I'm going to pause the video when it comes, when it, when it's uh, fully booted. Be right back. And we are finished. Took about another three minutes. Uh, so yeah, here we go with the installation process. Um, let's go ahead and wait for it to finish the just a sec screen. Taking longer than just a sec here, buddy. I think. I'll tell you what. Alright, 422 million years later. Uh, yes, I do have Google. Uh, let's go ahead and sign in. Wow, it actually took a shorter, like a short amount of time than just a sec. Come on, Google, get things right. All right, so my phone's about to die. Let's go ahead and finish this before it does. Uh, yes. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish. And we're in hyperdrive. All right. So let's go ahead and just the brightness here, so you can see. All right. So we now have a. Uh, Galaxy S4 uh, and the main thing people actually get this ROM for has got to be that home screen widget that that's pretty much the only thing that people get this ROM for uh, if you don't believe me just search it seriously you, you'll, you'll see um, all right here it is all the way at the end Ugh. no don't want motion right now all right so we have it here and it'll find our location it is waiting and please wait while we're waiting let's just take a look around yeah everything's running great uh, I'm gonna see if um, translator works oh I need to nah okay nah never mind forget it all right so here we go um, yeah that this is it folks have fun with your new galaxy s4 um, and uh, I'll definitely look into um, RLS 12 and uh, I'll show you guys when I do. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it really helped you out. Um, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. So if you break it, not my fault. Um, so uh, I'll definitely uh, try to get um, the next uh, version of this ROM, like I said. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, just one last thing. Take a look at the lock screen. Yeah. That ripple effect that everybody likes. All right, so thank you guys for watching again. Follow me on Twitter at EA Sport 23. Um, yeah, subscribe for more videos, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.